And usually what motivates me to finish a piece is I just have to like the piece. I have to feel it. I have to really, this, it's just emotion that's connected to the piece. I do have two daughters. They inspire me every single day to keep going. My daughter is so proud of me. She just tells everybody she can tell, my mom's an artist, my mom's an artist. <laughs> My name is Brittany Ann Baum. I am an oil painter and an illustrator. I was actually born right here in Camden, New Jersey. I got into art probably about age nine or 10. My parents used to send us to summer programs every year. They would have, you know, art classes. The last class I ever, art class I ever taken was my sophomore year in high school. I'm pretty much self-taught in art even though I learned along the way from other artists, um, art peers, uh, art books, YouTube, you know, did the self-development and taught myself different techniques. I went through lots of years of practice. How I got to where I am now is basically staying consistent. Everything really kind of boomed for me during the pandemic. People were redecorating their houses a lot back then, so people were looking for artwork. That's when I really started pushing out content and being very uh, consistent. I think Philly is a great art city because of the diverse culture. And they're just so into uh, creativity and the whole aesthetic uh, is just screams art. Each painting, I sketch out my piece first and I actually spray it with something called workable fixative so that pencil can stay put. And then I take a, uh, like a sepia or a sienna wash and I wash over the sketch. Use that so it can map out um, shadows and highlights and, and things like that. And I actually use oil paint and I use acrylic sometimes as well. My vision for my art right now is to appreciate the uniqueness of Black women and women in general. Always make sure that elements from my culture, the gold jewelry and the nails and the lip gloss, um, I want people to actually see that and appreciate the uniqueness of it and um, really enjoy all the different intricate details of just being a Black woman. I do remember uh, one specific artist that really uh, motivated me was, his name is actually Marcus Prime. You know, I had a fear of people, you know, critiquing and things like that. He really influenced me to actually post my artwork on social media. The first piece of art I actually worked on was trees and mountains and water. And I basically was just, you know, trying to Bob Ross a painting to <laughs> see what I can come up with and my grandmother has that painting in her house. I rise when the sun up, I meet the demand. I work for the comma, the globe is all in my plans. Recently, I've had challenges in regards to social media and algorithms with valuing myself and valuing my art practice and really seeing myself as a good artist. That's when I decided to move out of my uh, backyard shed. That's where my studio was. And I moved, I planted myself somewhere publicly. And I wanted to force myself to talk to people in person about my art. It was a challenge stepping outside of my comfort zone. I'm learning still, um, I'm pushing myself and it's still challenging, but I'm, I'm getting better at it. For me, I'm really into music. So music is a huge motivator uh, for my work. I have a condition called synesthesia. When I listen to music, I see colors and shapes. That's how I interpret it. Every piece you see, some type of song inspired it. I just want people to really look at my artwork and just admire just the beauty of it and the calmness. And I love when people look at my work and they see like a sense of familiarity. Through my art, I actually created this type of world, rather, where there was these confident women who were so sure of themselves and they walked with purpose. And it was the complete opposite of how I felt at the time. I kind of uh, manifested through my pieces, like this is how I wanna be as a person. I wanna be confident. I always say that through my work, I, I really healed myself through my pieces.
In 10 years, I see myself with more exhibitions, having um, more uh, private collectors as well. My advice for young artists is to always remember why you started, even if nobody is buying your work. There's so many different distractions when you're going through your art journey. Comparison is a thief of joy. I've been saying that for years. Even if you're not getting opportunities that you're applying for, even if you're getting no's, you have to remember why you're doing it. You have to remember why you're an artist. And that's the only thing that's going to keep you going. We got that feeling you all. We just be dripping and go. Please don't get back to anyone. I cannot make you a glow. We got that feeling you all. She be refilling.